Today we're at Media City. It's the start of fight week. I'm excited. We're going to go through a series of interviews. I'm going to talk about the match and about how well I'm going to do today. <laughs> so proud of you. Well done. Thank you. Hi. Morning. Yeah. Good to you. Becoming a famous athlete, I think, happened for me after London 2012. The fun thing was being able to go to music awards and film premieres, receiving an OBE. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been cool. I'm ready. <laughs> How are you doing? Nice you. Yeah, nice to see you. Oh, yeah, good, thank you, thank you. And what are your priorities this week? Oh, I'm just pretty much thinking about having fun, enjoying myself, yeah. the tactics on the way to the ring. Is there enough competition in women's boxing? As the, the media and the professional boxing grows, there'll be, there'll be a lot more, so uh, I'm going to be kept quite busy. It's great to talk to you again. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and all the best this weekend. Now, of course, can you achieve in this yeah. new professional arena? It's a week of first for me. It's the first time stepping out into the professional arena and first time not boxing with the head guard. I'll have my own walkout music picking my kit for the first time. It's, it's all really exciting. It's nice to be able to have a little bit more personality in the, in the ring as well. I want to be the best. I want to be headlining shows in Vegas. I'd love that, I'd love all that. Women's boxing is booming at the moment and you're the vanguard really. How encouraged are you to see people coming up behind you? Oh, I'm, I, 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 can't, I can't wait. I hope a, a, lot more, a lot more girls get inspired to step into the ring because we need somebody to, to win some more gold medals now I've uh, left the amateur ranks. We need uh, another Nicola Adams to fill my shoes and uh, get some medals won. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> what we usually do is like we train in the morning, then they'll go and do a few privates in the gym. I'll get my head down and then they'll come around here. It's mad, isn't it, how relationships do the way it works. Like, we're... He's more my friend than my coach, really. I like yeah. I'll phone you. We won't even talk boxing. We will go and get a bourbon. No. We won't really mention boxing. In handcuffs, we all know each other. When he was at the gym, it was like having a little brother there or something. Um, like I say, he was a little cheeky chappy when he was younger. And... Um, we just used to make sure he didn't get beat up off the bigger, bigger lads because he was small, he used to get away with murders. Yeah, yeah. We are running about at the shows, winding people up, winding other boxers up. If I had a fight, he'd be coming back telling me how hard the kid was hitting the pad to run boxing. <laughs> so it was one of them. He loved him, but he hated him at the same time. Watch how fast he eats this now. <laughs> yeah, don't blink. <laughs> Gone that in a second. All boxers eat like that. Anybody who's been on a bad diet when they was a kid, food goes fast. We're off a council estate and um, sometimes you've got to have a bit more about you, especially if you want to be a boxer. So I think that his family sort of moulded him. We have had hard times, but it's made him the person he is. You get a lot of people turn pro. The paths are already there for him. They're getting paid good from day one. They're already on the teller. You know, they're not having to go to work, they're getting good sponsors. He's had to do it the hard way. Boxing's providing for my family, so if I get beat, it's t he's taking food out of my son's mouth, so I have to keep winning to, to support the family and live the life I want to live. I mean, I don't live a, f a fancy life, I just live a simple life, but, yeah, hopefully when I retire from boxing, I will have to go back to work, I'll have my house paid for, a nice car, maybe a couple of other houses. That's what I want. That's roll after it, man. Sparred yesterday, real tough session yesterday. Spar, pads, spags. So we did a lot of rounds yesterday. Um, so just keeping him nice and sharp. It's great to see him in, in such a good mood and, and um, full of energy and, uh, and very bright, isn't he? So, uh, well, not bright, but... <laughs> Most of the time, I don't like him to be honest with us. Puts me through pain every day, so, you know, it's a, a lot of the time I'm not, uh, not very friendly towards him. I lost the British twice when I lost it twice. Can shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, uh, good atmosphere. And a lot of these guys, they were sort of Welsh internationals and amateurs, so they, they know each other from the amateurs as well. So um, they're all, you know, respectful boys and they all help each other out. What's it like training with the champ boys? 
Take care of you. I think he's getting the huge twin now. I think he'll roll on. I think he's going to bang Liam Smith out of him, aren't you? Yeah, that's just after the win with me. When I beat Corcoran. As you can see, I was pretty, I was a pretty angry man here. Eh? There was something about that boy. I just, yeah, I just wanted to, just wanted to strangle him. Like, say, guys, rubbing off me a little bit. I don't mind myself about it. Both things these days. I've, I think I've just got over that hurdle now, and I've, I'm, I'm 24. I'm nearly 25 now. I don't dislike Liam Smith. I've got nothing against him as a, as a person, or I've got nothing respect for him as a fighter. But we got a fight at the end of the day. We're gonna, you know. We're going to put it all on the line on April 8th. Still a lot of work to be done. Um, a, bit of a bit of a baby, to be honest. I'm scared to have it finished. Um, it hurts too much. I'd rather get punched in the face than have a, you know, have a tattoo gun on my back. But I build up the courage to go back and get, it, and get a couple of hours work done. And then, and then it reminds me why I haven't been back for so long. So I need to another couple of months. So. <laughs> we're a very tight family. Me and my three brothers were all British champions. Everywhere, everywhere you see one, you'll see the, you don't see the others. We travel the gym together, me, Stephen, and Callum. Obviously, Paul travels from. He lives a little bit of further away from us, Paul. And people ask us, are they, are they genuinely that close? Or it's not it an act. A, it's not for cameras. For but how could you put it on that? No, no, no. They went, to, they went together and, and lose together, yeah. don't they? And they, they do genuinely Sadly, feel yeah. it. If one loses, you can see it on the other's faces. They're devastated, aren't they, for mm. them? People, people used to say, oh, did you just fight when you were kids? We used to race home from school to the living room and the four of us were boxing in the living room. If there was ever anything something broke, we'd hide it or we'd bin it. I'd have one of them and yeah. you'd get walk past and the head would fall off and I'd think, I never touched that. Yeah. It'd yeah. be balanced back on. Yeah. So that gone, I broke it, not them. Yeah. Paul was on a show in, in was it the Adelphi? St George's Hall. St George's Hall. Hall and and oh my God, yeah. Paul knocked him out in so Paul many knocked seconds. Paul knocked him out in the first round and the kids was out cold was and the ring was this and high and I was then when a tin round, the poor lad was face down with his eye and I was like, <gasps> and they were going, he's all right, he's all right. Paul sit. I said, no, no, about Paul, that poor lad's mum. Yeah, is in Canada. My mm. son's lying there, knocked out. Yeah. I said, never again, never again, and I've never been back. I still won't watch them back, even when they're on the TV. I just don't like it. I don't like all the the heads going back when they're getting... I turn all the phones off, and then I set my timer, turn my phone upside down, and then when I see it moving, especially if it's before it stopped, the timer stopped, I think, oh, God, you know. And then I, I still won't answer it, and then the house phone will start, so I know then it's over, and then I'm like, what? And they go, he's won. I think, thank God for that. We've got a little autistic girl and she's got no speech, but she she understands a lot and he torments the life out of her and she absolutely yeah. loves them, doesn't she? They've got the aggressive side to fight, which you need to, but they've also got a soft side. And they do an awful lot for the autism awareness. Yeah, I've always said that. Like, people say, do your mum like it? I would say, no, she hates it. I think she's proud of it. That she's proud of the four of us, the kind of the, the life it's gave us, the... The success, the highs, lows, but, the well. but I always say, yeah, the proudest day and the happiest day will be the day the four of us are finished. And it's gone. And li little Paul now, Paul's lad, he's 10, isn't he? Yeah. And he's interested in boxing now, and I'm thinking, that not a chance. And then we might have Stevens too. No, no, not while I'm there, Nan, they won't. I, I never stood my ground. They, they beat me on that one. They won't beat me on the grandkids. Far too pretty to box. I couldn't have said that one. I didn't have that tag, so I had to box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>